Good morning, guys. I am here to talk about a little bit what I'm researching this morning, which is RS44. I get a lot of emails at the same time while I'm talking about this. I had a question about how good this refrigerant was. I don't know a ton about it, so I decided we're just going to take a look at it here. We're at the, uh, let's see, the Comstar website. We have RS44, which is R424A. And then the newer version is RS44B, which is R4, let's see, 453A. And they're drop-ins for R22. Now the idea is it requires no oil or system component changes and has the lowest GWP of any HFC R22 replacement on the market. So I don't know exactly what the GWP is, but I know that previously it was pretty much R47C that was the lowest that I saw. So it requires no oil changes or anything like that. Sorry about that. It requires no oil changes because, and we'll see down here because it's written down, it uses butane and isobutane a lot like some of the other drop-in refrigerants. We'll see. It has the same flow rate as R22. And I think the R407C had the closest flow rate that I saw, if I remember correctly. It doesn't say exactly what the flow rate is or give a chart of the different flow rates. And the charts that I've seen haven't had RS44 on them, A or B. It says it operates at near cooling capacity of R22. I really doubt that it would operate at a better cooling capacity than 407C just because it's such a close match. And these, this refrigerant sort of resembles the 422 series refrigerants like B and D, or 422 B and D. You can see that here it says, if you go down to the middle of the page, it says RS44B is a non-flammable HFC blend. It is compatible with both traditional mineral and synthetic lubricants so that a retrofit to a different refrigerant oil is not required. The small amount of hydrocarbons in RS44B improve the oil return to the compressor to extend the life of the compressor beyond like a few days. <laughs> and that is, let's see here, it operates near capacity, lower energy consumption, no oil change. This is produced in Texas, the UK, and China. So I don't know which one you're going to be getting. Of the combination of all of them. Here's the type and description. RS44 is a non-flammable blend of HFC 125-134A, N-butane, isobutane, and isopentane. Now, all three of those are flammable, but when you keep them at a real small amount, then it's classified as non-flammable. Plus, the HFC-125 serves as a flame retardant, and that's why when you combine HFC-125 and R32, which is flammable, it's not a flammable total mixture, and that is actually 410A. It's compatible with both mineral and synthetic lubricants, yada yada, the hydrocarbons, improved oil return to the compressor. So that's a lot like a lot of our so-called drop-in refrigerators, which aren't really drop-ins there because there's no refrigerant you can put on top of 22 that was a previous question you can't do that at all but the drop-in is sort of referring to the fact that you can drop it into a system that was designed for 22 you can't drop it on top of actual 22 Let's see if we can read anything else you see the oil return is not using like we'll use poe to return oil for the 407C instead of using POE with this blend which would normally need it if it was HFC 125 and 134A it's using those hydrocarbons the hydrocarbons is referring to the butane, isobutane, and isopentane so those hydrocarbons have very low global warming potential on their scale but they're also flammable so they go hand in hand typically those things that are don't give you a very high global warming potential. They have a higher that they have a higher flammability and vice versa. And as you can see up here, you have HFC 125 and 134A, which is very close to the composition of 407C, except 407C also has R32. 
and does not have the hydrocarbons. So that's why whenever I'm switching to 407C, I'll use the PoE oil in place of this hydrocarbon isobutane to move the oil back to the compressor. And so far, I mean, it's, it's worked very well so far. So I'll probably continue to stick with 407C just to make it uniform, and it's the best overall replacement, in my opinion. So it's compatible with R22 materials. Got to the bottom. I can't click on these PDFs because it won't let me when I'm doing it on the screen here in the live stream. Let's see if there's any technical info. It's a fact sheet, reviews, and the product PDFs. So you can go look at all this stuff. I mean, we'll get some more comparisons together, but I just want to give a quick look at it. So you can sort of see, to me, it's very similar to your R422 Ds and Bs. It's using hydrocarbons to move the oil. I had to get up, I had to get some information about the total capacity and efficiency because I'm sure it's going to be lower. Like the 422 Bs and Ds, are, they generally are lower than your 407 Cs. But we'll see. And some of the refrigerants are now actually mixing the oil in with the refrigerant. And I want to say that 421A is doing that. Because originally, I looked at the composition of 421A. It didn't have any hydrocarbons, so I was wondering how they could advertise it for R22. But I think it's actually using a mixture of oil in the refrigerant. Like that 407C that Ralph used, I think, on one video he was telling me about. Where uh, it's just a particular brand that integrates oil into the container. So... I don't know if we're going to see that more and more as time goes by or what. But there's a little bit about RS44 B and A. And we'll cover some more stuff like this in the future. If you have any questions, put them in the comments section. We can expand on this discussion as we go on. Thanks, guys, and have a good day.